Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that life is education. Your entire life is an educational process through experiences. Your best teacher is yourself. Simply that, yourself. Your intuition is part of self. It guides you. It allows you to act on faith, to maneuver your experience, maneuver your schooling in a certain fashion that allows you to understand the lesson plan after you went through the course, after you went through the certain experiences. Life is the education. I say this because I, I believe, strictly my belief, people at times get caught up in labels. I got caught up in labels a lot. Oh, I need to go back to college. I need to go back to school so I can get this degree, so I can get that degree. All right. I mess with people with degrees that is so far, so far gone in that realm of reality that they believe that they're almighty or they treat themselves as if they're special or better than anyone else. No. We all here. It's a level playing field. I promise you. I don't care how famous somebody is. I don't care how uh irrelevant some people may seem it's even playing field it's about the experiences that we have and what we do with those experiences it's about that true education because that in and of itself is not only priceless but that's what helps us pay it forward to others whether we do it intentionally or not and it's a beautiful process it's a cycle of life I'm not saying everything doesn't have its purpose. I mean, it's, I'm not knocking anybody who's a professional in their craft, things of that sort. No, that's cool. Do you, especially if it's fulfilling for you. I simply believe that no matter how good you are in the skill set, it makes you more knowledgeable of certain things, but it makes you better than no one. And that's, that's the actual beingness of us. It's not talking about the amount of skill set that you have. Once again, life is education. That's it. That's why we learn so much from older people. That's why we learn so much from younger people, including kids. That's why we learn so much from people that are our age because of experiences. That's why we learn so much from the allegories that are in the Bible, from allegories of the past. You can even look at plays from William Shakespeare. Shakespeare is, hey, he got some good works, cool, but them plays is really allegories. Just think about it. That's why we can learn more from any any kind of philosophy, whether we deem it ridiculous or not. There's so much wisdom and lessons within all these stories. Why? Because it's education. We can learn from any and all things. I seen someone yesterday uh, talk about how if you pay attention to nature, even simply the insects, you learn so much about people and life. And it's interesting because I have, uh, my cousin told me the same thing a few years ago. And when I heard it, it made sense. It's like when we watch the animals, you learn so much about human nature. I have a habit of getting up in the morning and listening and watching the birds. But you learn so much, not only about human nature or the, the, the actual meat suits that we in, but you also learn about faith. You learn about operating with spirit. I can go on a whole tangent about that, but that's for you to decide. That's for you to observe and, wit and witness and experience and find how you connect or don't connect with that. Simply saying, enjoy your experience and know that it's your experience. When you find those who understand or honor that, it's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. And when you find those who don't, it's a beautiful thing because it's teaching you more and more about this thing called life. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.